I got almighty emphasis on the almighty. I'm a barber here in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. I'm here to talk with y'all. I've been a barber for seven years, licensed. Uh, I've been playing with the Clippers probably since about 12, 13. My mom, she did hair when I was a child, so that was kind of like an introduction into it. Um, I had some pleasant experiences at the barber shop growing up as well. And then also I just like to see the freedom and the autonomy that a lot of the barbers had. And I felt that was something that I definitely could relate to. When I was younger, I grew up in a house with smokers. It was, it was like you always had like a funny smell on you at all the times. Um, it would be hard to breathe, like cause we, if we would be in a car or something like that, or say we'd be in the living room or in a confined area, like the smoke fills up the area. Like I said, just mainly like watching my parents like just spend a whole bunch of money on that stuff. Like it was like, it was like uh, I could see the addiction in it for sure. Like that was one thing that I, I always disliked about it. Being in the household as a child and they just either watch a TV or they may be cooking. It seemed like whatever they was doing, they were smoking. So it's like to always be in that, literally within the smoke. Like it, it was definitely an unpleasant feeling. Friends in high school and things like that, smoking black and mouth and stuff. Like you don't like the smell and they get all caught in your clothes and things like that. So them definitely some bad experiences I had with it. Um, I know some friends who have like their houses have caught on fire because they had parents who fell asleep smoking, things like that. Luckily, everybody was able to get out, but definitely some negative things like that. Growing up, I definitely saw a lot of different tobacco companies advertising in my neighborhood. Companies like Cool, DeJour, Newport, Black & Mild, different companies like that. When I take a look at it and think back, I definitely feel as though that these companies target our community, especially African-American community. As I said, I definitely saw a lot of those ads and things growing up, like uh, billboards, different billboards like along the, or ads I should say, along the bus, um, all the ads at the stores and things when you come up for, to the front, stuff like that for sure. I started smoking throughout my high school year. It felt like I couldn't breathe at all. Like it wasn't, like especially I was a child when I tried it. So like seeing adults do it, you think it's a very simple process and it's not like, especially when your lungs aren't used to anything like that. Some of the things that made me try were just like, like you said, being around my environment and things like that. Also like some of the things I was going through, stress, um, anxiety, things like of that nature. Uh, stress and anxiety now, Ways that I try to handle it, definitely try to stop and think first. That was one thing that I was taught. And then also you have, you have to know that it's a momentary thing. Like it's not going to last forever. So whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that you're going through, you just have to try to figure out how to ride your emotions very, what's the word I want to use? I guess you want to be very even keeled throughout the whole situation. You don't want to be too high or too low. Uh, some of the advice that I would give people who are trying to stop smoking, for one, look at your financials. That's probably your first thing. Health would probably come before that for most people, but a lot of people, it just depends on your situation. So I feel like finances is a thing that affects people or people see that more and are more apt to act on that than they are their health necessarily because they feel as though they have time. So definitely your finances. Um, your health, because that's your true wealth out here in life. Uh, to actually have, not just be able to be alive, but to have a good quality of life. So, um, think about your loved ones too as well. Like like I said, I grew up in a household where people smoked and it was very, um, I don't know what word to use, but it just wasn't a pleasant experience at all, for sure. So it could be something as small as that or major as you are affecting your people around you's health. So you gotta think about that as well. Uh, everything is a process, so it takes literally one step at a time. I mean, I know that's cliche, but when you literally sit down and think about things, like when you take things a step at a time, you usually have a plan for that. So just take your time, don't beat yourself up about it. Realize that it's a journey and not necessarily a destination. So it's going to take days at a time, moments at a time. You just gotta literally one step at a time.